I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, John Ronson, are you down with the kids, hip hop wise? Um, well, it turns out that I am. And um, but I mean, uh, the thing that slightly worries me, you know, is when I don't n- and know whether I like a song or not. Uh, and then I think the easiest thing to do is say that I do. So I did. <laughs> 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 sure. Um, I was... think I did. I, I I I always like Kanye West, and so I assume <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. That, how can you be so undecided? Is that because you're worried about not? Getting the right opinion and not having the right opinion. No, musically. no, I think it's just because it takes me quite a long time to uh, to to decide whether I like a song or not. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know. I've always been I've always been bad at it. I remember one time I used to be in the Frank Sidebottom Oh Blimey Big Band uh, up in Manchester, and I remember one time they got they got like the Stone Roses um, el- album before anybody else had it, and we we're playing it, and everybody in the car was going, "It's the best thing ever, best thing ever," and it took me, you know, at least three or four weeks. To realise it was good. So you're saying you don't you don't like to make a knee jerk reaction to a piece of music based on one listen, like we do on this show. Yeah, and and in fact, when I really like something, um, like the the other week you were playing the uh, Fat Boy Slim uh, David Byrne, I thought that sounds completely fantastic. And then you said it was rubbish, and I thought you're right. When you were when you were playing in the in the Frank Sidebottom band, didn't wasn't Chris Evans your driver for a while? Yeah, that's right, that's right. He said the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. We we were uh, we pulled up on Edgware Road. playing a gig in London, we pulled up at Edgeway Road, and Chris Evans wound down the window and said to a passerby, I said, excuse me, I guess, yeah. he goes, uh, is this London? And Blok said, yeah. And said, well, where do you want this wood? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, he was that uh, nice s- how Mark Radcliffe was on accordion. Well, um, it's, like a, it's extraordinary talent in that band. Yeah, it was. We, we were. We were. We were something. Yeah, yeah. Most of Radio Two was Ken Bruce uh, doing <laughs> <it>. <laughs> drums. He wasn't. But we uh, we supported Gary Glitter once, uh, uh, and um, <laughs> and they were really horrible to us. And they said, "You can't, you know, don't get on the hydraulic stage. You can't have any of the lights." And so, kind of instantly, you know, the minute we got on, Frank jumps on the stage and went, "You know, come on, come on!" <laughs> and the stage kind of lifted up and kind of hovered, went over the audience, <laughs> setting up all this smoke wow. and lights. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing. And and kind of, you know, he's going, "You want to be like." <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he kind of went off stage and, and Gary Glitter's bouncers were kind of, you know, chasing down the corridors and he kind of took off his head, he you know, took off his clothes and kind of stood there. And <laughs> no one knew who he was. No one knew who he was. So they said, have you seen Frank Sidebot? Yeah, he went that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, being chased by Glitter. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Harry, your opinion? Um, I think it was pretty much forgettable. Uh, not much going on, apart from the little boingy synthesizer thing. Uh, two notes on Kanye West. Um, I've obviously still got his uh, name placing from uh, the Man of the Year Awards last year, so I've still still got my Kanye West uh, place setting and my guest of James Blunt place <laughs> settings. Uh, and the other big Kanye news this week, he went on stage at the Bonnaroo Festival at half past four in the morning. Wow. Uh, he was supposed to go on at half eight at night, put it back so the headliners didn't beat him, and then went on in the end at half four in the morning and got booed off. Ooh, <laughs> that's big Kanye news. Oh. Um, Simon, your view on the... Well, it's not really about Kanye here, is it? It's about uh, little sister. It made me tense. My arm muscles hurt. I don't know if that's through frustration or some sort of activity I did yesterday. And I'm still undecided as to whether she's got her toes toes curled up and her fingernails are matching. Or, or if there's some other word other than curled. If you know, please text us, 64046. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Final tune is from White Denim. They have a new album out which is, uh, I think, um, getting a lot of praise in the music press. And uh, we've chosen, we think this is a single, do we, Jude? Uh, it's an album track, but they've made a video for it. They've made a video for it, so you can check it out if you want to. It's called All You Really Have To Do. Give us your opinion. Woo, they caught me unawares, just like the best rock and roll bands always do. White denim, all you really have to do. Uh, We think that is a current single. It's from their album Workout Holiday, which is out shortly, if not already. And uh, yes, well, there we are, lively stuff. Harry, it sounds like it's right up your street, mate. You love that sort of stuff. Yeah, I like it a lot. Nothing more to say. Brilliant. Well, super strong opinions. Um, what about Jay Ronson? I thought that was fantastic. And I'm very relieved because I'm going to see them in a couple of weeks supporting the Mighty Boosh at Hot Farm. It was terrific. It was like Captain Beefheart, wasn't it? it was true. That was wonderful. And just when I thought I couldn't, you know, know whether I liked something, turns out I do know, and, and that was great. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, I don't imagine you liked it, Rufus. Oh, I did, Steve. I, uh, you know, I've always wanted to be, if I was reincarnated as anyone, uh, it would be as a 1970s American rocker. And uh, that reminded me of that kind of almost famous kind of clear water sound. Free. I'd love to have been. I'd, I'd love to have been in a band like that. And that's what reminded me of it. So I closed my eyes for the whole song and just thought about what it would be like if I was in that band. 
It's nice. <laughs> it's lovely to go into the mind of Super Posh Rufus yeah. occasionally, <laughs> just picturing himself in uh, Clearwater, which uh, you mean the band from Always Famous? I think that's a fictional band. Clearwater, yeah. You'd like yeah, to be in a from. fictional band fictional from the band. movie. Yeah, good Why choice, Ruth. Yeah. And uh, Sammy? I'd like to shake myself senseless. Oh, hang on. Let me just turn yeah. you up there. Sorry, you're on a, you're on a distant Hiya. microphone. Um, I, I want to just stand in a field and leave flowers and just shake until I hurt. That was so good. That made me feel free. All my network rail troubles are behind me. Excellent. Good luck on that journey back. Thanks. Listen, we have to get going. Guys, we want to try and squeeze in Dirty Pretty Things, new, new single from them before we go. Thanks to everyone. Round of applause, please. Thanks also to John Ronson. Woo! And uh, we'll be back next week. We've got anything exciting next week, do you? Great music. Okay, lively chat. Yeah, look forward to it. From Glastonbury. Perfect. Thank you very much indeed, guys, for listening. Back next week. I can't make me tired of England. Uh -oh. Okay, good. Well done. Crazy World of Arthur Brown. Fire. Live, of course, at the second ever Glastonbury Festival in 1971, or possibly two. Um, and here we are, live from Glastow. Hey! We got Harry. Uh, we got the whole game. We brought the whole gang down to Glastonbury this year. Uh, we got uh, Harry. You came last year. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me turn you up, mate. Sorry. Oh, that's better. Oh, that, yeah, that sounds nice. Thanks. Um, it's this truck. I know it is. What is this truck, like? Oh. Um, good to have you back down here again, mate. Oh, no, it's lovely. Lovely to be here. Spiritual home, the West Country. This is true, and oh. um, much better weather than last year. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You can really enjoy yourself. Proper Glasgow experience. Roof, you were here last time, mate, of course, and uh, you brought the old wellies this oh, time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Poshest wellies at Glastonbury, as my mum calls it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and uh, you, what, what's your favourite band you've seen so far? Uh, it was probably the Monkeys, I think, the old Arctics on Friday the night. The Arctic Monkeys? Uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. That was last year. That was last year, but this, this year? year uh, so far, it's been... Did you enjoy Jay-Z last night? I did quite like Jay-Z, yeah. He was all yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sammy, this is your first time at Glastonbury, isn't first it? First time. I've got the valleys, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, but you're not really needed them because the weather's been glorious. It has been absolutely stunning, yes. I've um, been out outside, like you do, listening to music outside. That's, I believe, typical of a festival. Yeah. Um, it's been really good, yeah. That's been great as well. Is you brought your mum down to the festival. Yeah, mum's here she at Glastonbury. Yeah, we've got the whole gang here down here. And uh, so it's absolutely glorious to be here. Um... I'm joking, of course. Um, Steve Show, not coming to your life from Glastonbury. We're not there. Not there. Everyone else at the BBC appears to be at the festival. Um, no, 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 no. Last year, you remember, we we went down in the uh, the mud. It was like the Somme. Mm -hmm. We trudged down there. Um, we barely, uh, you know, we barely got through it. We put a lot of work in, didn't we? Put a lot, a lot of work in. A lot, a lot of work went into the show, and um, it would have been a great show. Mm. It would have been an award-winning show had it not been for the BBC's equipment. You'll recall, which uh, broke down only shambles. seconds before we were supposed to go on the show. Shambles. It was an absolute shambles, and uh, we luckily we managed to get on. We st we did our best, mm. but I think the uh, the edge had been taken off it. People weren't just talking about Sony Awards; they were talking about medals for bravery and valor. Yeah, that absolutely day. right. Because you know we had to stagger all the way in from our uh, four-star hotel. Mm -hmm driven in um, every day to... Um, that wasn't easy. That wasn't easy. That wasn't easy. Because it's, it's a real slog getting in. I think it's easy. It's not easy. It's not easy because there's people in the way yeah. or the people who've bought a ticket are in the way when you're trying, trying to drive to in. to see who's in the car. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're not going to lower the tinted windows. Yeah. F off. Yeah. Do and, and um, yeah, so we, anyway, we thought we did a great show. Turns out the BBC did not think that, so they did not invite us back this year, even though everyone else on Six Music is down there, everyone else at the BBC. Tim Westwood, I noticed, I was on the telly last night. He's down there. What? He did he hates it. I saw him saying, I hate I hate this, I hate all the hippies, I, think I don't want my sneakers, I'm coming and going straight away, I'm just here to see Jay-Z, I'm effing off. Mm. So he was down there, he didn't even want to be there. Yeah. yeah. But you and I, uh, not even invited. And the thing is, even if we wanted to go to Glastonbury, we couldn't, because we've got to come here and do the show. Because we've got to do the show. You so know, we can't do the pros. show. We're utter pros. We can't do the show, because we're not allowed to do the show live from the sh from Glastonbury. No, no. So no, we can't no. go to Glastonbury. No. Because we're absolute pros. Even though we want to go to Glastonbury. Yeah, we want to, oh, we'd love to be there. Love to be there. Because the weather this year, glorious. Yeah. Mm. Last it was miserable. Typical. It was effing miserable. I mean, you can see I'm cleaning up my rage. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. cleaning up my yeah. anger using the F word. If you don't know what it means, I'm going to write a blog. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to explain exactly what it means. <laughs> But no, we're not there, so this is, in a sense, the antithesis to every other Glastonbury show, because you can't move for Glastonbury. You were watching the TV last night, weren't you, here? Last night it was on, I think, BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three, BBC HD. Oh, hang on, don't wait a minute, I'll press the red button, I'll go interactive, I'll watch something else. Oh, yeah, no, you can't, because that's just wall-to-wall -wall Glastonbury. What's well, so that you want to do? Turn on the radio? How about listen to some Glastonbury? Oh, well, wait a minute, what about if I put on, I don't know, Six Music? I'm not going to hear sort of the highlights of Glastonbury, am I? Glastonbury. <laughs> oh, 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 I'll tell you what, though. Get all that music out of the way. Let's have some uh, six music news. I always look forward to that. What's all that about? 
glass of oh, them. Oh, no. <laughs> F you. Exactly. Uh, I don't know who I'm shouting at there. Probably Evis. Oh, the man. man. Yeah, the man. The Sticking goddamn man. Sticking it to the man. Yeah, I've seen it. I have seen it to the man, frankly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll be writing about that on the blog as well. Yeah, right. With some pictures. <laughs> um... So anyway, yeah, so we are, in a sense, mounting a protest to the endless Glastonbury coverage, the lack of invite by the BBC to Glastonbury. This is the antithesis of Glastonbury. This is anti-Glastonbury. This is non-Glasto. This is, um, other, other words that mean against or anti. Mm -hmm. Um, we're that towards Glastonbury. All right. Um, what's the least Glastonbury thing you've done this weekend? That's what we're going to be asking you, the listeners, in an effort to pad out, uh, what is essentially going to be two hours of us thinking about how we're not at Glastonbury. Um, so we'll play, uh, do you know what I'm going to play? I'm going to play nothing but music by bands that have performed at Glastonbury in the past, but when I wasn't there. I wasn't there, <laughs> I didn't see them perform. So for instance, uh, yeah, as I say, obviously I wasn't there in 1971 when uh, Arthur Brown played, and uh, I wasn't there in 1990 when Lush were there, and they played this tune. <laughs> Lush were at Glastonbury in 1990, and they probably played Lady Killers, but uh, we weren't there, and we're not there this year either, not invited, despite the fact that last year the show, uh, and Again, I'll repeat, there were many, many problems. We overcame those. We were absolute professionals. We had exclusive interviews with um, Glasgow veteran Billy Bragg. We managed to nab Lily Allen just as she came off the stage, having yeah. performed at the festival. Yeah. We performed um, a, a, a group, I think everyone agreed, did a great show, mm. Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. And yet, Apparently that's not enough for the no, people I mean, at the BBC. Me and Ruth trawled the entire Glastonbury site, which was, you know, in parts almost impassable. Yeah. Uh, to, you know, to get some really good interviews with people down in the fields, you know, Lamacky's just going to see the bands. We were out there mixing it with the proles. Of we course, you were at six in the morning in order to do an in-depth interview with the Masters of the Kazooniverse. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. And I tell you what, we did have an email from the Masters of the Kazooniverse a couple of weeks ago saying we're going to be at Glastonbury. Can't wait to see you. We're not there. Oh. Of course, I'm getting texts from those people. Are you here? Of course you're here, Steve. You love new music. Oh no, sorry, I can't because I got to be at, B at BBC London on Sunday afternoon to 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 talk to people who aren't even listening because they're in Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all a big waste of time. Anyway, um, what we that it's worth mentioning to us. Uh, Harry, you must have been doing something that's pretty non-Glastonbury, as you're not there. Yeah, well, yesterday morning I had to uh, bank a couple of cheques. Go on. Um, problem I had, uh, you know your paying in book, you Yeah. Or the, like, the few paying in slips you have at the front of the yeah, cheque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd run out. Oh, God, um, what? So I went to the bank feeling naked, just, of course with, you didn't just with the cheques, oh, and yeah. I had to use the blank paying in oh. slips that they actually have in the branches. Yeah. So I'd had to look up, find out what the sort code was, oh. what my account number was. Oh, fill all the stuff in that's usually pre-filled for you you know it was pretty hard going did you did you queue up and go to the counter and get the woman to cash it in for you or did you use one of the pre the envelopes and slot it in and then put it in the machine for literally the first time ever i used the envelope i used the envelope uh, with the machine. i don't really trust it my mum always said you should get the stamp in your checkbook yeah because that's proof that a real person has seen it yeah. and paid it in yeah uh, but i put it in with the envelope and well you know let's hope let's just <laughs> let's just all hope that that money turns out. Well, I'm going to say that's going to take a couple of extra days to clear, Harry. Cause really? Because you haven't uh, paid it in with the oh, existing man. paying in slip. Can so I, that's can we, need. would you make sure you come back next week and tell us if that money's gone to your account? Yeah, okay. I will do, I will do. Because I think we're all a bit anxious. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, you know, the machines, you're not fail safe, no, is it? No. Um, yeah, actually, I've got a cash and check, so that's that's reminded me yeah, of yeah. something I've got to do this week. And well, see, so if you'd been at Glastonbury, you wouldn't have been reminded of that. You might reminded, never have done it. Wouldn't have been reminded. So that's a plus point yeah. for yep. not being well, at Glastonbury. Look Remind for your, to look cash for your pain in book. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Okay, great. Um, Ruth, have you done anything this weekend that is totally not Glastonbury? Well, uh, Rod, my dresser. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on Crown Matrimonial. Who's acting uh, today? I think. We should point out that uh, Rufus is currently in a play. Crown but you, you'd have, you know, you'd have got time off to come down to Glastonbury. Uh, you know, had, had, had we been allowed or invited by the I BBC. Don't think I would have done actually. I, it would have been a bit of a. So you'd have had to have driven down to Glastonbury, I come down obviously 